How are all my beautiful Bellas and Bellows doing out there? It's your girl, Miss Bella So Fly, and I'm coming to serve you some of this piping hot tea. Yes, hold on one minute. Just give me one second. Let me take a sip of this hot steaming tea. Woo! Refreshing. Yes, I'm coming to you with this story about NBA Youngboy and Kodak Black. NBA Youngboy wants all the smoke with Kodak Black and his crew. Yes, he stated that he wants the smoke. The reason of this beef is because last weekend, Saturday, which was April 4th, um, Yaya Mayweather was arrested in Texas at NBA Youngboy's home. And there wasn't any much information about it, but Kodak Black ended up posting something on his Instagram, and everyone got a hold to it, okay? All right, so this is NBA Youngboy right here. He is a rapper from Baton Rouge, and Kodak Black is a rapper from Florida, okay? So these two, they used to be friends, but now they are in a vicious beef, okay? So... The reason that these two are beefing is because um, NBA's young boy um, girlfriend, current girlfriend, which is Jaya Mayweather, got into a fight with his fifth baby mother at his home. Yes, I did say fifth baby mother. He's young and he has five kids from five different women. But hey, he has the money. So who who are you guys to judge? Okay. So yes, his fifth baby mother. And um Yaya Mayweather came back to the Texas mansion and found the pregnant female inside the home and was asking her what she was doing there. So that's how it started. But let me get back to him, okay? So NBA Youngboy, he's mad because Kodak Black was basically insinuated that he snitched on Yaya, saying that he cooperated with the police about this information or whatever what went on. And he is hated like he went from zero to a thousand like super fast okay he is livid with kodak black he can't believe that he used his name with cooperating with the police in the same sentence because you know how rappers are they're supposed to be so gangster and so tough so that's why he's you know really angry at kodak black and he can't believe that Kodak Black is watching him from prison. He's saying, like, basically, like, you don't have anything to do with your life. You're watching me from a prison cell, buddy. <laughs> yes, this is, this stuff is, like, really out of control. It really is out of control. So, yes, this is Kodak Black right here. He is a Florida. He's from Florida, Pumpin' a Beach, Florida. And he's a rapper. And he's the one that posted all this information on the Instagram about the incident and about the fight broke out at his home and how NBA Youngboy told the police what Yaya did, but it wasn't true. It was far from the truth because Yaya actually got bonded out either that night or the next day. And she was in the bed with NBA Youngboy. Like, I'm pretty sure if he would have ratted her out, she wouldn't have been at his home in his bed again. Unless she's that, you know, if she got some a lot of screws loose in her head. <laughs> Which it seems like she does from that video that I saw of her. Oh my goodness, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yes, this is Kodak Black right here. He put the information out. Shout out to Pompano Beach. Yes, shout out to Pompano. He's definitely a Pompano Beach citizen. <laughs> okay. And this is um, Ayana right here. It's saying that Mayweather 19 was taken to a jail in Harris County, Texas uh, around 1.30 a.m. after a 25-year-old woman was stabbed and hospitalized. Okay, so on here it's saying that the um, her, her injuries she suffered, the woman wasn't that bad. You know, it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't life-threatening. And then other sources say that she was in critical condition at one point. But I will update you guys with that information later because I'm going to be following this. And, um, yes, this is Yaya Mayweather right here. I know her parents are so disappointed in her. Her, her father, like, 
risked his life to give them a good life. And she is destroying everything, including her father's legacy. Well, she's trying... Well, it shouldn't have to do anything with have anything to do with him, her actions, because he didn't do it. Okay, and this is the 25-year-old right here. Her name is LaPatra Jacobs. She's 25 years of age. They said that she was beating the brakes off of Yaya. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you guys. They said, said that she was beating the crap out of Yaya. So that's what evoked Yaya to go and grab the knives out of the kitchen and stab her up with two knives. And this is her right here. You can tell she's definitely pregnant. I'm so surprised that Yaya isn't getting charged with attempted murder. She's only getting charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I'm shocked that she's not getting charged with attempted murder on a pregnant female and stabbing her with a knife. Two knives at that. Thank God that this girl lived. I mean, I don't I don't um, condone the situation, you know, that happened between these two, you know, with them fighting and everything. But thank God that this girl lived. And I hope after this, Yaya will change her life. And this isn't the first time Yaya fought with this girl. This is actually the second time. It's just this time she ended up stabbing a girl. Okay, she ended up stabbing a girl. And I guess this is a picture of her before she was pregnant or maybe she was in her early stages of pregnancy. Because I do see a little budge. But I don't really see anything. And this is how y'all y'all came into the house. Hoppo, who this woman? <laughs> Hoppo, uh-uh. Who this woman? Hoppo, how can you do this to me? <laughs> so, yes, this is the headline that's going around. Breaking news, y'all y'all Mayweather arrested for allegedly stabbing NBA young boy's baby mother. And this is her mug shot right here. Wow, this little girl, she might be tiny, but she is full of punch, okay? This little thing, this little miniature schnauzer, miniature pit bull, yes, that's just what she is. She's tiny, but she is aggressive, okay? She is the aggressor. And this is Kodak Black right here. Yes, shaking his tail feather while he's... <laughs> While he's ruffling feathers from the inside of a prison wall. You shake that thing, Kodak. You shake it. You go, boy. I love the way you're shaking it. Yes, yes. Thanks, Kodak. Thanks for showing us your dance moves. <laughs> and this is NBA Youngboy right here. He's livid. He's furious. He's ferocious. He's saying ABC. Anybody can get it. Anybody can get it, including Kodak Black's crew. Everybody got to get it. He wants smoke with everybody. Okay? Even during the coronavirus and all, he don't care. He do not care. Okay? <laughs> wow. So, I hope this thing just end, like, with a bunch of, you know, words with each other. I hope anyone, you know, you know no one will go, you know around trying to kill someone over this situation but you know you never know okay and this is Mayweather right here with his daughter it's really a shame what this guy was saying about Mayweather this man put his life on the line his mind body and soul on the line to be able to give his kids a life that he never had growing up because he grew up with nothing he was poor and for her to sit back and let this man talk about her dad like that you're gonna hear it in the next clip is really really sad Okay, this girl was not born with a plastic spoon in her mouth, but a silver spoon. Okay? So, I'm going to let you guys hear what NBA Youngboy said about her father. Uh, this is a really sad situation. Really, really sad. You know, I know Mayweather and, his, um, and her mom is disappointed, but you know what? The apple don't fall too far from the tree because he was... I ain't never paid attention to a nigga, especially from no motherfucking cell, nigga. The fucking nigga watching me fuck. Then what a nigga say? A nigga say, nigga say I cooperated. Bow, bow, pain, bow, 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 what, you stupid bitch? Huh? Bow, 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 my wife? Huh? Bow, my wife say, Ayana, get up. Get up. Come here. You talking about, you talking about this girl right here? My wife? You talking about my wife? Inside, inside my house that I paid for? Now her bitch ass daddy, nigga? Huh? And now her bitch ass daddy? I ain't never accepted not one thing for money in my life. Why? Because y'all be playing on me, bitch. Like I, like I need a girl for something. Nah, I give her anything she ever asked me for. 
ain't never asked her for nothing. She bought me two pairs of shoes. I ain't, I ain't, I don't think I ever, wore, I don't think I ever wore a pair of them bitches. But, but with them black Chanel shoes, huh? Tell me why this bitch ass nigga spoke on me from jail. Why the fuck you even watching me? You supposed to be a gangster though, but you watching me from jail. Man, you is a bitch. This nigga gonna say I cooperated with the, I, I cooperated with the police. Man, you stupid bitch. Hey, you lucky I don't want to speak on that. Boy, you better stay in your place. These niggas hoes, man. These niggas hoes. Who you referring to? You referring to my wife? I'm talking about who in my bed right now? You bitch ass nigga. Man, tell your little partner them get at me, man. With your hoe ass nigga. You must be sucking dick back there, man. I said, 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 I I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, yeah, Y'all yeah, yeah, was looking while this man was sitting up here talking about her dad. <laughs> oh, if somebody would have been talking about my father like that and he did everything for me growing up, made sure I had a, a great childhood, I would have punched his ass, ass in the back of his freaking head. And look at her on the jet. Girl, if it wasn't for your dad, you wouldn't be on nothing like that. Y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah, wake up, sweetheart. I'm going to tell you right now that man is going to leave you. Number one, I just found out that he is a Libra. Male Libras are terrible, honey. Number two, he's a multi-millionaire. This man can get any woman that he wants. You better wake up, sweetie. This man make he 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 meet too many women. This 50 cent right here. Well, not 50, but Cannon. She did that. <laughs> Whatever they say she did, she did that. Sh <laughs> but Yes, y'all, y'all, you better run for the hills, sweetie, because that dude seems like he's bipolar and he's a narcissist. You better run. You best to run because he's going to hurt you. He's going to hurt you real bad, and y'all relationship is temporarily marked my words, honey. He's young. He's a young bull. This man has money, and he meets millions of, of, of women around the world, fans. He meet them. So, sweetheart, you stabbing this man for messing around with somebody else which is his baby mother so girl yeah yeah i know your family is highly disappointed and like i was saying before the apple don't fall too far from the tree because floyd was allegedly beating your mom so that's why you probably feel it's okay you know to sit in the back and let a man you know treat you any kind of way because your mother possibly went through that with floyd and this is young nba mom right here um, Mariah Lynn jumped into the um, situation. She chimed in and his mother was not having it. She called her ugly and said she needed to sit down somewhere. <gasps> oh my God. Which is true because Mariah Lynn always jumping in somebody else's um, um, situations and stuff, arguments and fights, and she stay getting beat up. So I don't see why she haven't learned yet. Mariah Lynn, if you're listening to me, girl, sweetie, have several seats okay
And this is his mom. So, of course, she's, she's not going to sit around and let anyone talk about her child. So, it's a lot of stuff going on with this story, you guys. I'm going to keep you guys covered with it. I'm so sorry for updating it kind of late but yes this is mariah lynn right here who has something to say about nba young boy situation and nba young mother young boy's mom was not having it she went in on mariah lynn i will post everything that she said down in the bottom in the comments you guys this is mariah lynn she's from love and hip-hop and this is what nba mom said i said what i said she's ugly u-g-l-y i said what i said Mariah Carey just clutching the pearls. <laughs> that should teach you to mind your business, sweetheart. Quit putting your nose in places where it don't belong because it stay getting cut off. Girl, you stay getting beat up. So, yes, my, um, yeah, yeah, just because your family have money, sweetie, that don't mean it can save you from everything. This um, case could have came out way different than what it was. You could have been facing a murder charge. And no money is not going to buy no judge, okay? I'm just letting you know right now, especially for a, murder, for a murder charge. Capital offenses, no honey. So, you need to have a seat and get you someone that's going to respect you and value you as their woman or their wife as he calls you your wife his wife that's another sign right there sweetheart he's calling you your wife right now he has not officially took you you know t through the matrimony so girl you better run for the hills you're gonna look back at this video and say dang miss bella so fly was telling me the truth yes been there done that sweetheart how are you his wife and you guys are not really married yet it's not even on paper you might have the ring sweetheart but you're not his wife not yet it's called fiance okay and if he really valued you as a fiance he wouldn't be having you going through this situation and yes your relationship is a fatal attraction you are fatally attracted to this man and i think he loves you too but like i said before sweetheart he's a libra male libras are terrible they will leave you with the quickness and won't give up um yeah yeah run baby run it seemed like this man came from a broken home but he's doing amazing for himself you know he's doing amazing now and i commend him for that thank god for that but sweetheart this man has a lot of growing up to do this young man because he's really young as well and hopefully one day sweetheart you'll wake up because he's not gonna you're not gonna be his wife i'm letting you know right now the man is gonna get with someone else and it might be the baby mother that he truly loves i think this baby mama number two or four whichever one is one of them that he's madly in love with you know he's just have a restraining order against her she has a restraining order against him right now so he can't get to her so baby you might be a rebound honey i'm just gonna keep it 100 with you okay you might possibly be a freaking rebound relationship run y'all y'all run honey <laughs> Because that man that you got, honey, he is dangerous. You needs to go. Okay? But only you can help yourself. Only you. No one else. Only you. All right. Okay. It's your girl, Miss Bella So Fly, and I'm out. Please make sure you like my video, comment, and share the video with your friends and family, okay? All right, and I hope all of you guys are remaining safe um, during this coronavirus situation. I hope all of my um, Bellas and Bellows are doing well. And like I said before, I am out. Like, share, and subscribe. Mwah.